Hey, what's the day and a half haul? Out in my dark shed. The other day it was too bright. Now it's too dim. Well, I've been working on the rat rod. I didn't think I'd ever get this much accomplished today, but things went pretty good. I had some pretty good lights in here, but I bought some stupid halogen lights. They were 19 bucks a piece. Don't ever buy them. Them shop lights, two bulbs per light, they're garbage. They keep burning the ends of the bulbs out because they don't make good enough contact. Well, we'll see if we can get some light on the rat rod. See what you think. Hang in there. Gotta flip the camera again as always. Well, the flathead's in there. Try to get this stupid light here. Maybe it'll help some. I moved the engine quite far ahead. I think I got enough room for the radiator in there yet. I don't know what we'll put on it for a bumper. Just got it sitting in here. Got these rubber mounts. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. Them are out of a John Deere 544 front end loader. They used to drive, they bolted to the flywheel and then they drove the flex plate on the automatic transmission. So I think they should take whatever this flathead's got in it for force without ripping the pieces. There was only six of them on that John Deere and that had to be a good 100 horse engine. And they drove it going around and they didn't rip the pieces. So I think that's what we're going to use on the front. I still got to make some plates to mow them on. Pretty dark in here. I don't know if anything will show up. Put the tranny in there. Got to get some rubber pads for that yet. I don't know what I'll put in there, but we'll figure something out. That mount there just happened to be where I had the old four-speed mounted, so that worked out pretty good. Had to cut it part of it away. I think it looks pretty good sitting in there. Not if I'll ever get any further, but we got this far today. I think it looks darn good in there. <coughs> Had to take the headers off just as I thought. They hit the frame. So I have to take and heat each one of them up individually and try and get them all bent evenly about six inches up, which would look pretty decent, I think. Nothing else. I'll cut them off and put a square tube on them and run them out like a regular manifold. Cut them all off even and then weld about a three by three square tube on the end of them. Cap the end of that off and run them down just like a regular header looks. I just got the back seat clamp down for now. I think it'll be all right. Now I can roll it around. Don't have to worry about the flathead being in my way from parking in the garage. And I have to put the old banjo rear end in. If you remember right, this rear end is upside down because the John Deere gearbox on the John Deere turned backwards so I had to mount it upside down so even if I use this rear end I'm going to have to cut the spring saddles off it and flip it over again which wouldn't be no biggie I wish it was brighter but either you got too dim or too bright Yeah, I think she's going to turn out all right. Let me get the cowl set on there and see where that's going to sit. Get the radiator mounted on there. I'm pretty satisfied with the progress I made today anyways. Oh, my cord is stuck.
I think she'll be fine. I have no idea how good anybody can see any of this stuff. So I guess I'll start slowing down and cutting the video down a little bit. Give her up for the night. They say, don't ever buy them stupid halogen shop lights because they're garbage. Pure garbage. I got one that works for both bulbs. One with one bulb. And two that they're all fried. Don't waste your money on them suckers. Oh, I think it's going to start getting colder and raining and snowing and whatever it does in winter time. I don't have no heat in here. So, this might be the most progress I make for a while. This might be 30 or 40 degrees the next couple days, so I'll probably work on it a little bit. Well, thanks for watching. This is Dan F. Hall saying goodbye, good night, and God bless.